Hey guys, Hammy here, live from Gamescom, and we are going to be taking a look at Eichenwalder. Now, I've managed to do a little bit of the attacking spawn, a little bit of the defending spawn. Oh, and I've spawned at the moment. We're going to see what happens on attack. So, I'm trying to get a look, finally, for you guys, at the middle of this map. So, if I was spawning on defence, that would be a little bit easier. I've got while we're in skirmish mode, it's probably an ideal opportunity for me to get to the middle. So, we start in the Brarai Mitags crew, which I've covered already. Check out my other videos in my Gamescom playlist and on the channel. You've got the good back right here. Now, there is a left flanking route. I've not managed to... Ex oh, so close. Uh, I'm on defence. If I'm on defence, that gives me an even better opportunity to explore that little left flanking route that I've not actually spotted so far. So it's kind of cool to explore this map from different perspectives. Okay, come on. Auswalen, Auswalen. Elden Vixen, Auswalen. Please get on in. And um, let, me, uh, let, let me get stuck in. That'd be really, really awesome. <laughs> okay, so... Um, if you've watched the other videos, you'll know this, this uh, castle and the surrounding towns is the site of a big conflict between German crusaders like Reinhardt and the leader of the order actually died here. You see his uh, armour and possibly remains in the castle. Uh, and also uh, a bastion uh, and omnic threat. And we're going to see lots of evidence of that as we go. Now, I've already covered this uh, castle. So if you're wondering why I'm not running through this castle, have a look at my defensive gameplay video where I've actually showed that. Um, and I've showed also a bunch more of all of this castle area and route in terms of flanking routes. So that seems to be an interesting one that I'm not actually seeing. Very cool. So many different ways, nooks and crannies that you can jump around and try and flank and attack this castle once you get into this area. Um, I'm learning something new every time I see it, which is really awesome, including this way, of course. So many different ways around the back. Uh, here's a giant mech, um, a, a giant robot. Yeah, you've seen Anna Amari in one of the original uh, Overwatch uh, strike team images. On top of this, ripping the wires out in the Vault Sky Memorial on attack. When you go out, you see the War Memorial. You also see these above the Bastion units. So there's evidence of the Omnic threat all over this map and the huge Omnic fight that must have gone down here. You can see all of the Bastions and similar. So we've got a second gateway. Well, this is the gateway that the Badrang has actually got to batter through. So you've got this inner keep area of the castle. I've not actually been out here before in this middle area. But here's the payload. So in the attacking gameplay video, we saw this payload and you saw me dancing around the edges of it to give you an idea of scale of the map. So there's quite an area of streets that you need to fight through here. Um, I'm going to try and not be too useless to my team. I've kind of just been walking around and not doing too much so far. Um, so, all very, very cool and awesome. Um, just going to fire in a few rockets. So you can see already, now the attacking team's moved up pretty quickly. Um, you can see exactly how big this attacking area is. There we go. So I'm going to just go. So on my last... Ah, is this a... I thought that might have been a flanking route. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. No, that's definitely not a flanking route. I'm going to die. Okay, so when I was on attack in the attacking video, I thought I saw a different flanking route that uh, wasn't actually a flanking route. So this is the big main yard, and uh, here is where the attacking team have actually got to take control of the payload. Through there is the castle, so you can see the big set of left flanking areas that the attacking team can use to try and get round the outside of the defensive team. This yard's quite a lot more open than the attacking first yard outside of the attacking team's spawn, which I'm going to try and show to you um, now, I think. So let's go around here. Okay, this is just a right flanking route that will take you around to the top of the payload. I've already showed you the left flanking routes to the payload that you can see in a different direction. So let's try and see if the attacking team aren't going to kill me here too hard. Uh, we'll see how we go. So trying to avoid the temptation to score some kills. So there you go, there's the city in the distance. Now, when I spawned on attack, you saw uh, this city in the distance as well. You can see that from inside the brow house. That's where you spawned, that's the attacking team spawn. This is a right flanking uh, route that you can take. Um, and you can see... Oh, an interesting reposition there. Um, mein, ult mein ultimate is bereit. <laughs> wasn't going to last for long. So you've actually seen me, from a left defensive perspective, actually go towards the attacking team's right route. So there's this first sort of murder yard. If the attacking team can get through that, uh, then there's a few bridgy type areas that they need to get around. But after that, the area around the payload uh, that we're going to have a look at just here, and I'm going to go the right route here rather than the left now, is a lot more open. So there's a lot more ways for an attacking team to get to the payload once they've got through that first yard. There are some maps on Overwatch where um, actually defending teams give up the first point. Watch Point Gibraltar is kind of an example of that. They'll let people push the payload a certain degree because it's actually a lot easier to defend um, in choke points a little bit further up. So if you see the attacking team have actually done exactly what I said. They've kind of just flanked this from two different routes. I'm going to see if I can 
pour in some rockets and slow them down a bit. In fact, actually what I want them to do is take it, don't I? Because if they take it, uh, they're going to buy me a bit more time. So sorry, defensive team, I'm not doing a good job. But this is the murder yard I was talking about, this bridge area in murder yard. There's a right flanking through uh, there. There's a left flanking route here. And this is the attacking team spawn, the Brarian Metal School. I'm just going to show you around the left-hand side of here as well and just give you a quick pan of this yard. So you spawn here. You've got a right flanking route there to the little underbridge that I showed you. You've got a left flanking route uh, that will actually reappear here. I thought there might have been a way over this wall. Uh, there's actually not. That's not a flanking route. Been very nicely cut off there. So really, you have to force your way through to the right here. Uh, this building here, you can see the evidence of dead bastions and things all around. Um, and a nice little coffee menu there. Um, Prabriar and crunch, the needle, halamel and all kinds of stuff. Whoa, they'll, you know, leave me alone. I'm law touring, leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, is that a, a, a victory? Okay, no, it's not a victory. But, uh, we've still got some time. We've still got time. There's time. Okay, let's fly out and I can try and show you a little bit more of the yard before doing some attacking and defensive game plan, which will be pretty cool. Sorry for my overuse of the word cool, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm trying to think and talk. Sometimes my cabal suffers a bit. So there you go. There is the payload. Um, hey, Nick. Which has been taken, which is good. Okay, I say good. So this was the place from the attacking perspective, that little gap where I thought maybe you could flank over. We're on the left flank here, which is kind of cool. Um, and I'm just going to leave 76 alone and I'll take you back. So this bridge, this murder bridge, um, is another way that you can get in. If you can take this bridge, this little bridge area as an attacking team, this is really key because on one of my games earlier, we really got cut off exactly there. Um, from the attacking spawn, uh, if you can take this building, it gives you a nice flank route to this bridge, but this is a very tight choke uh, with no real ways that I've seen to outflank it. So, yeah, you can't get around either edge. Um, key area here uh, in terms of being able to take this bridge as an attacking team and defend this bridge as an offending team. People are really going to try to choke that off. Um, even in this yard, as we see that, you know, another one of those giant Omnics that I mentioned earlier, um, there's so much... Um, there's a couple of flanking routes to get out of your spawn, but really this key area here is going to be the painful place. Uh, the Gut Bakarai is going to be a place that you can try and bust your way through, which will be pretty cool. Uh, and you can flank around the right here, you can flank through uh, the uh, Zelba, Zelba through it, uh, music shop of some description, got pianos and things there. Um, but there's no real other ways that you can punch your way through, so you have to take this bridge. Then after you get through this bridge, you've got a flanking route there that you can go through, which is kind of cool. Um, up to the right, you've got a little bit of a route there you can go through, and then you can see how much this yard opens out. So, I'm sorry my uh, defending team comrades, you're going to be one person down. Uh, this is now the new spawn, I do believe, uh, on the payload. And this is the payload yard. So this is the left flanking route through to the payload yard, which is taking back. See this big tower, steeple, maybe bell tower kind of area, a little way that you can flank through there. And once you've taken this bridge that I've been harping on about quite a bit, you can then uh, flank up to the right here. Payload actually spawns there. And if we go up this way, you can see that we're going to come up above the payload uh, and just kind of at the rear of the payload. So remember that the payload kind of spawns here. Um, and then you grab this to bust your way through. So there we have it. This is the gateway that we've been busting our way through. This is where the payload spawns that you use to bust your way into the castle. A couple of different flanking routes on the left here as well. I'm just going to go through this building as well so we can have a look too. Um, so Soldier 76 doesn't have a little something to say about it first as we punch our way through here. Ah, there we go. Downed. Downed by Soldier 76. So, you enjoy that kill, man. That one's on me. You enjoy it. <laughs> All pretty sweet. Okie dokie. So, let's go. Um, I'm going to try and punch my way out of the castle for a final time. And then I'm going to go and upload this footage for you and show you everything that we've got going on. So, I'm going to enjoy these last few minutes of Asian Valor and see if we can do some defending. Um. Shots down, shots fired. And hopefully, maybe this is going to be some of the first footage in the world of Ocean Valor, so please annoy. Ooh, please annoy, please enjoy. Come on, come on team. Ah, so just 76, there you go. Oh, I got deeper out of a mech at least, I should probably go for some squishier targets. <laughs> so you can see this really epic final kind of room. Uh, in the chapel, which is really, really massive and really, really cool. I'm going to see if we can actually uh, hold hold the payload for a little bit more. We're going to push our defence out and get us out of here, see where we can go. Uh, but you can see there, the leader of the Crusaders there is actually who we were uh, um, 
Don't hurt me. No. I'm trying to run past everyone who's failing. I'm going to see if I can trace her past everyone as a final bit of not quite really fighting defensive gameplay. Run, 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 run. Only got a minute 58 to hold, so I'm not entirely sure how much even I can. Everyone's going for kills. Everyone's going for kills. I'm going to role play as Bastion. I can't do this. They're going to make me role play as Bastion. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Okay, they're making me do it. For my Bastion brothers! For my Bastion brothers! No. <laughs> ah, far got me. <laughs> there we go. Bastion roleplay, OP. Trying hardest, trying best. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back out to the yard now. Play the attacking spawn has moved so far up. It's going to be a little bit tricky to show you what's going on there. But what I can do is avenge my Bastion brothers. <laughs> or attempt to avenge my Bastion brothers. <laughs> So you get a bit of an offensive gameplay after all. But anyway, I do hope as we come into the last 20 seconds of this game, I do hope you've enjoyed me having a little look around. I'm going to try and get a bit more just sort of pure gameplay as well. Um, I've got two or three other videos uh, showing a whole bunch of this too. So please do um, have a look at those as well. You can find all of this on my channel. Uh, the playlist is going to be linked in the description below and at the end of this vid. And um, please do throw me a subscribe. I actually specialise in Overwatch lore. So you're going to see, um, you can, if you want to look into the lore and background of Overwatch's heroes, the story of Ashen Bug and a bunch of other stuff uh, too, uh, then please do check out my channel. Um, I do regular Overwatch commentator gameplay, lore analyses, comics. We're going to be analysing the last Bastion short as well and all of that kind of good stuff too. So please do have a look at more of my channel too. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Hammy live from Gamescom. Having a look at Ashen Valor and a bunch of other stuff. Take it easy.